Apollo 10, The Forgotten Mission Apollo 10 was a May 1969 mission which acted as a practice run for the Apollo 11 mission. It was set up in the same way as Apollo 11 would be two months later, with a crew of two in a lunar module descending near the surface of the moon, while the main capsule remained in orbit. As such, it was the first fully manned Apollo mission to orbit the moon and the second manned orbit of the moon after Apollo 8. NASA refers to the mission as an actual crewed landing, except for the landing. The mission was manned by John Young, Thomas Stafford, and Gene Cernan, with the latter two commanding the lunar module while the former stayed in the command module. All three of them would return in later Apollo missions despite some issues with NASA management, which highlighted the politics of the program. NASA was worried that the astronauts would attempt to land on the moon, and, as such, they decided to short-fuel the lunar module. The module had approximately 10% less fuel than the Apollo 11's, just enough to complete the mission. Had they attempted to land, they would be left unable to return to the command module. The astronauts arrived within 8.4 kilometers of the moon and collected important information regarding the moon's gravitational field, allowing for collaboration of the Apollo 11 landing system. This mission was also part of an ongoing collaboration between comic strip creator Charles Schultz and NASA. After trying to rebuild their image in the wake of the Apollo 1 disaster, NASA chose Snoopy from the Peanuts comic strip as their safety mascot. Additionally, Apollo 10's lunar module was nicknamed Snoopy, and its command module, Charlie Brown. Two months later, as the entire world looked on, human footsteps were at last emblazoned on the dusty surface of the moon by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, with Michael Collins rendezvousing with them afterwards. In the annals of history, the mission of Apollo 10 has been overshadowed by later journeys to the lunar surface. But the astronauts of Apollo 10 were, in truth, trailblazers, and their story adds a richness and humanity to the history of the race to the moon. Their achievements and the risks that they took to help America win the final sprint of the space race deserve to be remembered and celebrated just as much as their immortalized successors. This episode is dedicated to the following people. John Young, Thomas Stafford, Gene Cernan, and all of the people at Mission Control that helped make Apollo 10 possible. We at Space Rewind personally thank you for your service and success.